Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you to all the new subscribers and taking the time to do that. This is an active earthquake cycle right now, especially in parts of Central America and the Western Caribbean. I want to show you everything I'm seeing. And yes, sometimes one earthquake can lead to another uh, in a similar spot. Oftentimes that is the case. So know that I'm watching this carefully as we get more uh, earthquakes and aftershocks, which I'll cover in just a second from that big earthquake this weekend. I'll keep you up to date on that. So let's swing you around and show you what we've been seeing some of the latest. And we've had a couple of newer ones over the last day to day and a half. One over toward Guatemala, 4.5 in magnitude. I talked about that yesterday. And then we had a 4.5 one in Nicaragua, uh, El Salvador over the last week. We've had a few earthquakes as well. So about five or less for most of these that have been popping up. Even about a week ago, we had one in southern sections of Mexico. So this area in particular has been very active, and I do believe there'll be at least a couple more uh, earthquakes in this area. So watching out for that, that's just been the pattern we've been in. Now this weekend on Saturday uh, evening, we had that 7.6 in magnitude that was felt in a large area from the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, Honduras, Jamaica, Cayman, uh, Cayman Islands, obviously, back through uh, Cuba, even up through the Bahamas and South Florida. Now, uh, with that big earthquake, we have had the aftershocks. We had a lot right after, right? There's about five to six substantial ones, close to five in magnitude, that happened right after. Now, this aftershock is one of the more uh, recent ones, so things have settled somewhat, but last night there was a 4.3 in the same area. So again, uh, nothing super crazy with that. We expect, once you have a 7.6, we expect some aftershocks. Fortunately, there haven't been as many over the last uh, day or so, but this is one of the new ones. I do expect a few more. And again, there's been a lot uh, more that have been lesser in magnitude. So still watching the aftershocks in this area. I'm on top of it for you. I'll keep you up to date on this, how many aftershocks we've been seeing and some of the more significant ones. I'll let you know about that. So this happened right in here, this big 7.6 one, a transformed fault. It was a slide. So instead of the earth kind of lifting up, it was two pieces sliding next to each other, which was fortunate because a slide is uh, less likely to cause a tsunami. We did not have a tsunami out of this, but a lot of fault lines in through here, no doubt about it. This one here is a convergent one near the Dominican Republic. You get earthquakes there. Sometimes you get really big ones near Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Uh, things are colliding. Uh, this one here is another uh, transformed fault in across Puerto Rico, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands and the Dominican Republic. No strange to this. Nothing too significant. All of these have been less than four. There was, a, I think this was 3.8 or 3.9 last night to the north of the British Virgin Islands. So an earthquake cluster in here, which sometimes happens, you get a little uptick over a week or two uh, of time, but I'm not seeing much in the way of uh, anything significant there. Just kind of letting you know what we're seeing out there. That is common to have several quakes there. Now shifting over to the big winter storms to the north, there's back-to-back -back winter storms. I'll show you that in just a second. Look at that feed of moisture coming out of the Pacific into the Caribbean. So we are going to have some scattered showers around, which I'll highlight. This here, this feed coming out of the Pacific and west coast of the United States. Look at that moisture building in here. There's one winter storm building right in here. They'll stay to the north of us in the Caribbean, but they are going to get a little bit closer. So let's start wide and talk about that. Here's that snow, Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia over toward Delmarva. And you see the front stretching down toward Louisiana and Texas. It doesn't get into the Caribbean though. So we stay on the very warm side, spring-like feel Southern United States. But as that leaves right on the heels of that, another system develops very quickly. This here is by the time we get into Wednesday night and Thursday morning, watching some of the snow parts of New England, Atlantic region of Canada coming out of a Quebec. Now the front does dip down toward Florida. You see it right there into the Northern Gulf, uh, but it doesn't get all the way down into the Northern Caribbean. So we stay with that windy uh, easterly and southeasterly flow. And then yet again, you see here, this is by Saturday. Look how aggressive this pattern is. Big systems from the West 
west coast of the United States and over toward British Columbia driving across the United States. And then you see another system here by the time we get into Saturday, some snow on the north side of it, watching that Illinois, Indiana, parts of Pennsylvania, and then winding up. But most of the energy lifts to the north, which means even though there is a front that tries to get close to the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba, this is the tail end of the front. It really fizzles out. So I don't see any cool down for us coming into the Northern Caribbean. Sometimes this time of year, we could still get some of those fronts moving in. But you see, it's just the tail end kind of scraping by. Here we are in the Bahamas. By the time we get into Monday, heaviest energy lifts up to the north out of these. But a lot of winter storm systems, one after another, moving by to the north. Now, we get a look at those showers. I showed you some of those clouds around. Spotty showers, it's going to be hit or miss. Some of our islands, we could get a couple showers uh, throughout the day. Others were just on the dry side. So I'll be watching that. Let me know in the comments if you do get a shower or if you don't. Some of us will pick up some rain. Watching Guyana and Suriname tomorrow, you see that better chance of rain uh, that will be uh, breaking out right in through here. But Dominica, Antigua, Barbuda, Barbados, we may catch a few showers. Not as much Central America. Watching the earthquake activity though. And then this here is as we work our way into Thursday. And once again, you see some spotty areas of shower, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, uh, Puerto Rico, Antigua, Barbuda. Then again, Guyana and Suriname, another high chance of rain once we work our way into our Thursday forecast. All right, north side of all of this, this is back to today. You see some of that snow right in there. Here's that trailing front. We had one system depart the Atlantic region of Canada. This area kind of moves off generally south of Nova Scotia, north of Bermuda. And then you see that next system developing. That pink in there would be that mix of rain or snow or even some sleet, which are little ice pellets. Uh, then working our way into Thursday. See Thursday, this winding up with some snow, northern New England, over toward New Brunswick, right on the edge of uh, Prince Edward Island, watching Nova Scotia and then Newfoundland as we work our way into Thursday night, Friday morning, getting scraped by some snow. And there is that front uh, getting close to Bermuda. Uh, uh, to the north of the Bahamas, though, by the time we get into Friday. So they're not nudging as far down to the south. They kind of wind up and lift up to the north. Now the seas, giving you a heads up, if you have any interest on the waters, uh, the seas are really going to be building the next few days. Look at the Caribbean and the Atlantic waters in particular. A lot of yellows popping up. This is through the end of the week. This here is by the time we get into Friday. So we're talking about some spots over three meters, upwards of 11, maybe 12 feet in spots in those Atlantic waters. Very high stuff, Atlantic passageways, giving you that heads up, leading into the weekend. Bay of Campeche getting a little bit choppy here in the Western Gulf, and with these systems coming off the United States in through here, southeastern United States, those seas are gonna be elevated, but a lot more colors on the map. So giving you a heads up for our boaters out there, just letting you know things are gonna get choppier to rougher as we get through the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. As far as the rain totals go, they stay minimal. If you catch a shower, we're looking at maybe 10, 25 millimeters of rain, maybe a quarter of an inch of rain in spots. For us in Jamaica, Cayman Islands, could get a sprinkle or two. Eastern Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, back through Puerto Rico, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Bart's, uh, Saba, Stacia, a couple of those showers. May get a couple of Antigua, Barbuda, but the colors not popping up a whole lot. You see a little bit of this pink shading in here, telling us St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, even Barbados, we may get a few totals that get close to an inch of rain or more more in some spots over 25 millimeters of rain that will not be widespread. However, with that said, look at these white shading showing up. That would be 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. So Guyana and Suriname, as I was showing you earlier, some isolated flooding will be around, especially tomorrow in through the end of the week. Let me know in the comments, but giving you that heads up. So thank you for spreading the word about that. Some flooding, a potential Guyana and Suriname, and then scattered showers watching that through Central America. Could see a shower too near Mexico City and there's that moisture building kind of coming out of Texas into Louisiana. So rain chance about 30 to 40 percent the next couple of days for us in Jamaica, monitoring some of that earthquake activity that's nearby. Still the possibility of some aftershocks, Cayman Islands, 20 to 30 percent chance of a shower. 20 percent chance Trinidad and Tobago, most of the moisture just down to the south. Barbados, you see tomorrow though, we're up to about a 30 percent chance of a passing shower. 30 to 40 percent chance though as we work our way into St. Lucia. Strong easterly flow, so we'll watch out for some of those spotty showers. Grenada, 20 to 30 percent chance. St. Vincent the Grenadines today, a 40 percent chance and a 30 percent chance by tomorrow. Rain chance 30 percent in Martinique the next two days, 30 percent
out today in Dominica up to a 40% chance for tomorrow. We'll have a couple of those showers nearby, 30 to 40% chance in Guadalupe. Rain chance not too high, Antigua Barbuda holding at that 20% chance in the next two days. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat about a 20% chance, 20% chance as well. Anguilla and St. Bart's and running at about a 20% chance, St. Martin, Seba and Stasia. Rain chance so today in Puerto Rico, 40% chance, so slightly better chance of some passing showers today, 30% chance you and British Virgin Islands. We get back through the Bahamas. We're mainly dry. May get a shower or two mainly dry Turks and Caicos. Rain chance stays very limited. Dominican Republic though, it is a little higher about a 40% chance for today, a 30% chance for tomorrow. Haiti, we're generally on the dry side. Could get a sprinkle. 30 to 40% chance in Belize, so our rain chance isn't super high. We may get a few showers around, though. Uh, Aruba, about a 30% chance today, a 20% chance. Curacao and Bonaire as we head through the day. But here we go as we work our way into Guyana. That rain chance bounces up tomorrow on Thursday. A 60% chance. Watching out for some of those areas of flooding. Look at Thursday in Suriname. We're up to a 70% chance of some of that wet weather as it builds in. Cuba, we're mainly dry. 20% chance of rain today in Costa Rica. Panama does bounce up a little bit tomorrow. We'll be up to about a 40% chance, 30% chance in Nicaragua, 30% chance the next couple of days in uh, Honduras, including our islands over toward uh, Rotan. Guatemala in El Salvador, slightly better chance of a shower tomorrow, running at about a 20% chance in Mexico City, 20% chance in Merida, uh, back through uh, Cozumel, Cancun, Campeche, Northern Colombia could see a shower or two, about a 20% chance in Northern Venezuela, and as we work our into Bermuda. A lot of these fronts move toward us, but they do weaken. But at times, we'll get some of those passing showers. So tracking the aftershocks, that's been the uh, big story. Uh, watching uh, Central America, where we've had that uptick in earthquake activity is an active uh, period for whatever the reason is uh, right now. Uh, so I'm monitoring that. Any big earthquakes, I'll let you know just kind of everything I'm seeing out there. Those new winter storms to the north, it's been one after another. And watching out for that rain chance building over toward uh, Guyana and Suriname. So plenty to track. So thank you for being part of this channel. I hope you're doing well. Have a good rest of your day.